This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Right, for this week's video, I thought I'd revisit one of my old digital paintings and see if I can bring it to life using stock photos. I've gone with this painting, which is pretty old. I painted it around seven years ago. That probably took me around 10 hours to paint, so I'd be curious to see how much quicker I can make it using photo manipulation. Also, I'm not going for a one-to-one -one copy. There's a few things I don't like about the painting, so hopefully I can improve on a few areas. Okay, let's run it. Let's take a quick break to hear from the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Not a week goes by where I don't need to learn a new tool or technique to solve a creative problem. So having access to a creative learning space such as Skillshare, where you can learn what you need when you need it, is invaluable. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who is looking to discover a new skill, level up or refine an existing skill set. I've put many hours into editing my YouTube videos in Final Cut Pro X over the years, but there are always new things to learn and improve on. With this in mind, I recently took YouTuber Ali Abdal's class video editing with Final Cut Pro X from beginning to YouTuber. I was particularly keen to learn Ali's three-part workflow to see if I could improve on my current editing process. And one of the great things about joining a class like Ali's on Skillshare are the project files you get access to. Skillshare launches new premium classes each week that are ad-free with subtitles in multiple languages. It's a game changer for those like me who love to learn, explore and discover new skills. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare.
And here's what I've ended up with. Around 3 hours on this one compared to the 10 hours it took me to create the painting. I made a few different design choices, mainly with the colours, I like the boldness of the orange. But what do we think, which do we prefer? Honestly, although the painting isn't up to scratch technically, I think there's a certain charm and magic that the photo manipulation maybe doesn't quite capture. But let me know your favourite in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video be sure to like, comment and if you're new please subscribe to the channel it means a lot. And if you want more Photoshop content be sure to check these videos out and I'll see you in my next video.